Hey everyone, hey everyone, hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. The Bruno Mars cultural appropriation debate has just been blown out! Thanks to Stevie Wonder, who commented on the conversation that's been ongoing since a viral video clip came out of a recent two-part video from a YouTube channel by the name of The Grapevine. Uh, I've actually subscribed to the channel since that clip went viral because it's actually a good video. It's a healthy, interesting debate that they had about whether or not Bruno Mars is a cultural appropriator. The, the issue is that one single clip from one single person with one single opinion is what became viral out of the conversation. And, and it just so happened to be the most grating, mean-spirited, out-of-pocket, and angry of all the opinions showcased in the video saying, uh, if Bruno Mars died tomorrow, I'd bake a fucking cake. It, it's just a little much. It's a little overboard. Like, obviously, you're you're just kind of shooting at the hip here. You're not really making many in the way of salient points. Uh, she, she did give some fair opinions on just the Grammys as an institution, but uh, th there was just too much blind hatred of Bruno Mars to, like, communicate anything effectively. Now... What makes Stevie's opinion here interesting, because Will I Am has already popped out to uh, sort of comment on this, but what makes Stevie's opinion interesting is that he is a bold and very clear exception to this rule that uh, you constantly have people who are non-black stealing black ideas, black expressions, black art, and then repurposing it for themselves and succeeding and making money and winning Grammys. However, Stevie Wonder is a three-time album of the year award winner, who the only other artist to my knowledge has received that many accolades in that particular category is Paul Simon, and one of those awards was given to him when he was still making music under Simon and Garfunkel. So, you know, that's it's it's kind of like 2.5 <laughs> album of the year award Grammys. And agree with him or not, Stevie Wonder's opinion here actually holds quite a bit of water, not just as an artist who is black, but just as an artist in general, because you're going to have a hard time getting artists to sing this tune at the end of the day, because really across cultural boundaries, across racial boundaries, across uh, boundaries of generation, uh, whatever other kind of boundaries you want to throw on artists to categorize them into certain sections, artists do not like hearing that they can't make a certain thing, that they can't do a certain thing, that they can't express themselves in a certain way. Artists want to do, at the end of the day, whatever they want to do. Like, whatever awards artists could be getting or whatever accolades they could be getting is not as valuable to them as their artistic freedom, which ultimately is is the greatest thing that an artist can have. And on top of it, it's not like the music that Bruno Mars was copying on his latest record didn't have its time in the sun back in the day when it was more popular. I mean, New Jack Swing was pretty hot. I mean, I can't recall any big record of the year uh, awards that were given to a New Jack Swing album, but uh, we do have Michael Jackson, who, I mean, he won an album of the year with, with Thriller. I'm not saying that the Grammys are a perfect institution, and I'm not saying that there aren't racial biases at work here. I, I, in my opinion, there most certainly are. However, in my opinion, and in the view of many other people out there, including many who participated in that original Grapevine TV conversation, Bruno Mars has adequately paid homage to the artists and the cultures that have influenced the music that he's been making for years. And if you've been following Bruno Mars's career, his trajectory, this is pretty much what he does. He jumps around the pop music spectrum, trying different sounds, trying different styles, trying different ideas, and just writing catchy, hooky songs with them. I mean, he did it with uh, uh, The Police, uh, with that song that he had that basically ripped off Message in a Bottle. It's just unfortunate because I feel like the cultural appropriation debate has been boiled down to if anybody borrows anything from any culture or anybody that they don't have a direct connection to, then they're doing a bad thing, they're doing the wrong thing. However, I feel like the, the conversation is only trotted out when it's convenient because does Drake really have any deep connection to Jamaican culture despite the fact that he's always ripping off dance hall? No. No, he doesn't. How many rappers out there have basically ripped off 
Asian culture through kung fu movies, Asian cinema, sampling Asian music. Like how many times have we seen rappers holding samurai swords and promo pics or music videos trying to look cool? And that stuff doesn't come out because that's not the aggravation, that's not the conversation. What the aggravation really is is that you have black artists who when they make a superior record, when they make the better record, they're not getting the accolades, they're not getting the awards, they're not getting the credit they deserve. Bruno Mars's record, I liked, I thought it was really good. I reviewed it positively, but was it better than Damn? Eh, not really. Was it more artistically interesting than Damn? I don't think so. I mean, I get it, Bruno Mars' new record, it was 100% poppy, it was 100% fire, it was 100% hits, it was 100% love songs and dancing and pretty much everything that goes into a popular piece of music. But honestly, it kind of sucks that it seems like the Grammys consistently are only using that metric to decide whether or not an album is good, whether or not an artist is deserving of an award. So those are my thoughts. I think Bruno is getting the brunt of the focus of the aggression here when I really think if anybody should be getting that, it's the Grammys. Uh, Stevie Wonder's comments here, he basically says that Bruno Mars is talented and he's a great artist and everything else surrounding that whole conversation is bullshit. I think his comments are fair. I think his comments are correct. I agree with what he's saying here. At the end of the day, Bruno Mars is another artist making art. He has no real control over whether or not he wins a Grammy or he doesn't. And to just put all of the focus of this unfairness directly on him is kind of short-sighted and it's really, really, really small picture. I'm going to leave it at that. Over here next to my head is another Bruno Mars video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Oh, forever.